They and the kids were having a ride on a giant bird and they were having fun. But then they noticed something. Basically what they noticed was that they were hitting a dining house. So they decided to hunt, they would land the bird on the hunt and explore that house. Kish said, it doesn't look very bad, David. Are you sure it's bad? David said, well, who would live here? I don't know. I thought it looked too bad when I was out in the air. Kish said, do you think we should go inside? David said, why not? They were basically inside the house, and it did look bad. There was fire wreck anywhere. They knew no one lived here, so they thought it was okay. Dear said, look, it's a doll. Kiss said, it's a pretty ugly doll. Dear said, yeah, I know. Do you think we should take it? Kiss said, okay, let's take it. I don't think anyone will care. Dear said, yeah, okay, I'll just take the doll off the stand. David and Kim were basically back at the cave where they lived, and they showed their friend the doll they found. And the, their friend thought the doll was pretty ugly. David said to Jackie, it's like we got fresh water in the cave. Jackie said, yeah, I know. Jackie said, I'm going to get some water I'll help me to drink. David said, I'm going to get the water to drink as well. But we have to boil it first, right? Because they're fish in the water not very nice. Jackie said, yeah, I know. They were basically getting everything ready, hunting, because I think it was night time, they're going to have a party, and they're going to have a bonfire on the beach, and they were looking forward to it. Basically, it was night time, and they were having a party. And they were a lovely party, and it was a lot of fun. They were having fun at that party. They had a campfire and they cooked their dinner hunting on the campfire and it was delicious. Back with the hunting, they just talked the hunting and laughed a bit and joked around a bit. They were having They basically fell asleep around the campfire hunting, but when they woke up, it was something like 3 o'clock in the morning. So they decided to hunt to wake everyone up and go into the cave. It was the next day, and it was a lovely day. They had breakfast, hunting for breakfast, they did have fruit, and it was delicious. But they noticed that there was something really weird about the doll they found. There was something really weird about it. When David looked at the doll, he noticed there was something really weird about it. He did not understand why it was like this, but then suddenly something happened. Basically, the doll disappeared, and David could not figure out why it disappeared, and then he heard something. The doll said, I have to go back to where I was supposed to be. 
You were not likely to take me away from that house. I was forced to be there. David could not figure out why the doll was gone and why he heard a strange voice, but he knew that the doll was returned back to the actual place and he knew he would not take it from that place. Basically, the doll what David and kids found was gone. It was gone. It was returned back to a rightful place. And they knew that it was returned to a rightful place because it said it was returned to a rightful place. Basically, daytime turned to nighttime, and it was nighttime. They did have fire on the beehive, and they cooked the dinner over the fire, but they couldn't stay outside so long because it looked like it was going to rain, so they went in the cave where they would be dry. Like a lot indeed, he could not be 